I was originally going to write a full review, especially after I had beaten the game. But now, after seven hours of experience playing the game, I'm going to do this right at the top of the dome, straight from my head onto Audacity, where I'm going to overlay footage over this. So, this game, Pokemon Legends Arceus, or Arceus, is uh, the, the next installment of the Pokemon franchise, but there's some problems with it. I feel people are going to praise this game where praise is not due. Yes, it mixes up the formula a little bit. You still have your battling, you still have your catching, and it's in a different manner than in the past. However, there it does come at a cost. Now, I, I personally find this game to be one of the most boring, tedious, and menial games that I've ever touched in my goddamn life. And I've had time to cool down and think on what I want to say. Now, I've never wanted to scoop my eyes out as much as I do playing this game. Never. I'm playing the game, and I'm, I'm play I, I get so bored playing it that I want to take a spoon, shove it in my eye, and pull it out. I, I wanted to like this game. I came in thinking, ooh, oh look, it's a new game. Oh, it's a, it's, ooh, it's cool setting. You can get Arceus. It's a, it's a new, it's a, it's a new type of game. No, no, no. The, uh, the open world. The open world is empty and full of nothing to do but catch and battle some random wild Pokemon that are, you know, they have a chance to spawn in a certain area. The alpha Pokemon are cool. That's a cool concept. However, it's done terribly in which they just appear randomly, you know, oh, oh, yep, plopped right here with no thought and no, just nothing put into their execution. The Krikatot one, or uh, Krikatoon or whatever that one is, you know, the Della Della Whoop, I think that's Tot or Toon, what, whatever it is. That one was executed well. That's, you know, oh, look, these are alpha Pokemon. But then after that, you're walking around. But what's the point of them? And they're, you know, level 40, level 60, level 35. Way too high for the area that you're in. And yeah, I get it. They're supposed to be big, beefy, and strong. But when they're just sitting there blocking your path, trying, when you're trying to get to somewhere else to catch more of the Mons that are only found in that area... You know. And so that, that's the Alpha Pokemon. The Alpha Pokemon, great idea, terror, terrible execution. What about the open world? Well, that, yeah, that's, that's empty, nothing. What about the Pokedex? Oh, there's 250 Pokemon. They're done really well. Yeah, but then when you have to think about it, the Pokedex, you have to do, I think it's like at least 10 tasks to f complete the Pokedex. And you, you could stop there and just do your 10, or you can do the laborious tasks of catching 40 Bidoofs, defeating uh, 150 Breezels with a rock-type move, or, oh, you know, uh, see 26 Snorlaxes use Thundershock or something like that. What's the point? It's treating the player as a drone for these nonsensical tasks to complete the Pokédex. What, what, what's the other, what, what, what's the point of the game other than to complete the Pokédex? I, I have no, no idea why this literal god would take this 15 year old out of the modern day and then chuck her. Because if you play as anybody but the default Dawn, you're wrong. You. She, he chucks Dawn into this feudal Japan where there's cameras that are handheld, where there's some weird technology. It, they retcon Pokeballs. Oh, it's the shrinking theory. As if literally any part of the anime or the or the games just, just that's just right out the window. They shrink down now, and that's why you can't catch them after you defeat them, they shrink down. You know, disregard that they were codes in literally everything else. 
How else did they get to the PC? And how else did they get to the ranch? I don't know. Alright. So, you know, Arceus chucks Dawn into this feudal Japan to complete the Pokédex. Why does he care? Why should he care? He's a little god. He knows everything. So why why does he care about this region? Oh, and what about the the, the little nods to the the Sinnoh games? Okay, the nods to the Sinnoh games are bland and reused scrap designs. Oh, look, Cyrus. He's now a girl. Oh, Professor Rowan. Oh, he's got black hair now. Oh, Cynthia? Oh, Cynthia is just some merchant, and it's a boy now, I think. Oh, Lucas and Daunt, literally the same. Literally the same. With the same personalities. You know, just who, who cares? You know, and, you know, Lucas, literally one of the most boring rivals to ever exist. Yeah, 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 people like Gen 4. Let's just chuck those in there. Okay, and... It makes no sense at all to have these character designs other than, oh, look, the nod to the past games. Oh, but the Diamond and Pearl clans. Oh, the skimpy leader of the Pearl clan. Right, I'm not the one to say, oh, the, you know, they're, they're too skimpy for games. But why is she wearing, you know, such skimp, such a skimpy outfit? The leader of the Pearl clan thinks it's the almighty Sinnoh. Haha, -ha, see, Sinnoh is the god of space. And the Diamond Clan thinks Sinnoh is the god of time. Well, you fall out of a space time rift. So there's no goddamn reason they have to argue over this if there's a space time rift that you fell out of. Why can't Sinnoh be both? I, I get it, because Diamond has Dialga, and Dialga's time, and Palkia space, and Pearl is Palkia, and <laughs> D, and P, and Pokemon Legends Arceus, PLA Platinum. I, I feel like I'm off my rocker, because I, I have to sit back and be treated like a child. I don't even think a child would find this game fun. I have to sit back and be treated like a child sitting through two hours worth of tutorials on how to play this wretched game. And I have to just see anybody who just likes Nintendo. Uh, you know. Anybody who likes Nintendo. Praise this game. Reviewers love this game. Because it's an empty Breath of the Wild clone wannabe. With nothing. Nothing in the overworld. It's bland. And it somehow takes my favorite biome, the Alpine biome, and makes it boring. It's not beautiful in any sense. And the, the landscape is nonsensical. The only way to get past this is three land bridges, and anywhere past three steps outside of the second camp in the game, you're getting attacked by every single Mon and their mother, non-stop. Oh, you just gotta get a better Pokemon. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I have to get to this mission marker, which is 7,000 miles away, and the only way to get there is jumping off the mountain, going through an alpha Pokemon, that's right in my way that wants to kill me. I don't understand it. So everybody's praising this Breath of the Wild wannabe clone. Uh, there's there's nothing holding it together other than the fact that it's Pokemon. And that's loose. It's just something scrapped together. They just chuck the plunger at the wall. To make this game 
and you know people are gonna obviously buy it because it's made by Nintendo and has the Pokemon logo on it and now it's gonna be an instant 10 out of 10 and since it's different than everybody everything else in the series it's suddenly the greatest game of all time the only thing I really like about it is the music the music is one of the best things about it and it sucks too because I can't hear it unless I'm wearing the headphones and it's not even a, an issue with my audio because I can hear literally everything else fine. Why is the music too quiet to enjoy it? What, do I have to turn my TV on to, to 70 to, to hear the, the only good thing about this game? I don't even care about the side quests because every game now has to have a billion side quests that are garbage. That's not even the part that annoys me. Because that's just expected from a modern game. To have terrible side quests. No, what angers me is that they have the audacity to cobble this together. Cobble one of the most boring experiences I've ever experienced in my life together. Chuck it out there and have people purchase and purchase and purchase and purchase. Consume the next product. So that they can release a, a trailer for the next game, the next gen at Pokemon Day. They just wanted to bridge that gap so they can get as much money out of the Pokemon franchise as possible. That is the only reason. There is not a goddamn thing that makes this game worth the 40 to $60 you spend on it. And there's a lot of things that I haven't gone over like the cleaver thing the cleaver thing's frustrating why is this design so terrible why why are they worshipping it why is it in a frenzy I don't know I'm not gonna get to that part because I'm done playing the game I don't want to play it anymore it's frustrating I'm sick of just how bad it is and every I have to scroll through Twitter I have to scroll through Instagram I have to scroll through any Discord server I'm in and see nothing but Pokemon. Legends, Arceus, the best thing ever. I'm playing it, I'm loving it. I'm not. And I'm not even, I'm a contrarian. But I'm not even saying this to be contrarian. I'm saying this because I genuinely dislike this game. My review score originally, yesterday, was gonna be a two out of 10. Today, Unless there's something that can turn my mind around and make me love and enjoy this, it's getting a fat zero out of ten. Terrible. Worst game I've ever played. And that's saying a lot. So, this is me from the future. Um, I did play it a little bit after this, and I did enjoy it a lot more than I previously did, as seen by this re review. But um, I'm going to record the footage right now for this. It's it's funny. Uh, really, I'm just doing this for the hopes of you know somebody you know views it and shares an opinion that it's not the best game ever. It's it's not the best. It's not the best Pokemon game either. But you know, if you enjoy, it, that's your thing. But as a reviewer, I gotta. I gotta do the contrarian thing, you know?